So guys, in this video, we are going to be creating this dual lighting effect in Photoshop. This was the before of the image and this is the after. This tutorial is going to be straightforward and easy to follow along. The outcome, as you can already see, is very realistic and beautiful as well. So with no further ado, let's get started. Let's group this whole layer and delete it and create everything from beginning. First of all, you duplicate the background layer and rename subject. The next step is to select the subject from the background. You can use your favorite selection method. But for this tutorial, we are using a select subject that will automatically select the subject from the background. Now you click on the layer max to create a layer max to separate the subject from the background. Now while on the background layer, you come and create a solid color adjustment layer and make the background 50% gray. And now click on OK. At this point, you can see that the select subject didn't do a great job uh, right here. So you take your brush, make sure your foreground is white and on the subject layer max, the flow should be very low around three or thereabout. And then you brush over this area to review the areas the select subject didn't select very well. If you zoom in to the beds here, you can see that this selection was not done correctly, but I will leave the refinement to the end of the tutorial since this video is not focused on selection. So we create the whole effect first and then I'll come back to this later on. The next thing you are going to do is to create a gradient view. So come and create a gradient here. Set the angle to 180. Now change the gradient color to whichever color you desire. I'm going to be using a blue and orange or teal and orange color for this tutorial. So you click on OK and then you click on OK again. Change the blending mode to color. Now you can name this teal light. And now duplicate this layer. This time you can name it orange light. The naming is just to keep the whole process organized. It's not necessary technically. It's just for your own visual sort and when you're going through the layers later, you know exactly what each layer is doing. So now come and tick reverse and now double click on the gradient to bring up the color and select an orange color. Now click on OK. Click on OK. Change the blending mode to soft light. Now, the next thing you are going to do is uh, you can adjust the opacity, but I'm going to leave everything at 100 now. So you create another layer, which is a solid color layer. And uh, make sure it's on a thick orange color. Change the blend mode to soft light. Reduce the opacity to about 40. This time you right click on this layer and then you go to blending option. On the blending option, you are going to split the underlining layer slider. You ought to split it and move one of the section to the left and then the other also. This to remove the effect from the highlights so as to pop the highlights while enriching the color in the mid tone and the shadows. This was the before, this is the after adjust the opacity as you want the next thing we do now is to bring up the level adjustment so that we can increase the sh shadow that is the black points we can increase it and also we can add some light to the highlight and now you can see the before the after let's take a general look at the before and after this was the before this is the stage we are right now in order to avoid banding 
If you don't know what banding is, you can check the channel for a video on that. Or you can Google banding, color banding. Is that rainbow like a stuff, undesirable breaking of colors that happens around solid color? In order to avoid that in your image when you upload it to social media, come to layer, new layer. Now set the mode to overlay. Fill with overlay neutral color 50% gray. Click on OK. Now come to noise, add noise, amount 7. Make sure monochromatic is ticked. Now click on OK. Come to filter, blow, Gaussian blow. Set the blow reduce to around 0.2 or 0.3 or thereabout. Now click on OK. This will avoid any form of chromatic vibration and also add a fine grain to the overall image and make everything look more texture-like and beautiful and gritty. So let's take a look at the general view. That is the general before and after. This was the before, this is the after. If you haven't liked this video, please like this video right now. Subscribe to this channel and then turn on the post notification to be the first notified we'll put out more amazing <coughs> tutorial. So if you want to make a more refined selection on the beds here, now you hold alt and click on the subject layer, on the layer max. You can then take your lasso tool and make a rough selection around the areas of the bed you want to make this fine selection. Then go to select color range and then choose black. You can see exactly what's happening. So you select the black and then deselect the white. Now click on OK and now select deselect. And at this point, you hold Alt again. You click on the subject to review all the other layers. I can see that that selection is now fine. And if I can use this for every of your hair selection is very effective. I can adjust it as much as you want. So happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial. <laughs>